What is up you guys, it is Demise45 here, and in this video, I'm here to show you guys how to get the knock code feature of LG on any Android device. Now, if you don't know what this um, feature is, basically it lets you unlock your Android device in a certain way, and as of the day of this video, it's only available for LG devices. Or... If I'm right, it's only available available for LG's flagship Android devices. But now, thanks to this Expose module here, it has now been ported to any Android device, and now any Android device can sort of emulate it and sort of get something like it on their Android device. Also, I want to give you guys a quick note that before you start using this module, that we're gonna download from an app called Exposed Installer, you will need to make sure that one, you're using the launch, the launcher, the lock screen that came with your Android device. So you can't use any other custom lock screen that you downloaded from the Google Play Store. You need to use the stock lock screen that came with your Android device. And you need to make sure you have a pattern lock, a lock pattern or whatever you need a pattern lock screen to start using this otherwise this module will not work okay so before you do any of this you will need to make sure that your Android device is rooted if you don't know how to do that just go on Google and search how to root space the name of your Android device space the name of like wait actually like for me for example um, my Android device is my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 space the name of your model number sorry the model number of your Android device sorry if you want to find out what model number your Android device is go into your settings and then scroll down to about tablet or about phone and whatever number you see under the word model number that's your model number like for me for example mine's is GTP 3110 and then once you've done that, go ahead and search for it, find a guide that can help you, and follow that guide very carefully because one, rooting does void your warranty, and two, rooting can break your Android device, which means it can damage it internally or software-based. So in case it does, I am not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to your Android device. And then once you found a guide that can help you, and you followed it very carefully, and you're finished, and you're rooted and you have super su or super user installed you can go ahead and start with the procedure also before you do this you will need to make sure that you have an app called exposed installer installed on your android device if you don't already have this app you're first going to need one a browser that will let you download files off the internet i'm using both browser for tablet for example but you can use whatever you want you want and you're going to need a file manager that will let you install APK files, which is basically the file extension for installing apps on Android. And for me, for example, I'm using ES File Explorer, but you can use whatever you want. And then once you made sure you got those two, you will also need to make sure that your unknown sources is checked. For some Android devices, it's in settings and then in security and then you might see an option there that says unknown sources and you might need to check that now depending on your Android device that may vary for you so be sure you search on Google on how to check unknown sources for your specific Android device then once you've done that and you already made sure it's checked go ahead and tap the download link that I left in the video description below and open it in any mobile browser that you're using and then once you've opened it up, you should get a page that looks like this. Once you get to this page, tap the green download icon that appears. And then depending on your browser, you might need to follow whatever prompts it gives you. So just follow whatever prompts it does give you to download the specific file. And then once it finishes downloading, you can go ahead and get rid of the notification. Go into any file manager that you're using. And then go to wherever you downloaded 
at file and then tap the apk file itself and then tap install wait for it to finish installing and then tap open and then once you've opened it up you might need to make sh you might need to update your framework to do that tap framework at the top and then tap install slash update and during the first time it will ask you for root permission so be make sure you grant it by tapping grant or ok then once you get this pop up tap ok for it to reboot your android device and then once it finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then go back into this app then tap download and if nothing appears go ahead and tap reload at the top and then once you get a screen that looks like this tap the search icon at the top and then type in knock code all screen on tap it then swipe left and then download the latest version of the module itself as of the date of this video it's 1.0.4 then tap download and then wait for it to finish downloading then you will get a prompt just like you did for the app that we just installed like this just tap install then wait for it for then wait for it to finish installing then once it does finish installing tap done and then once you're back up at this screen tap the download word at the top and then tap modules and then make sure that the module which is called not code is checked and then once you make sure it's check, checked go ahead and reboot your android device by pressing and holding on the power button then tapping reboot and then tapping ok if you don't see a reboot option there just tap power off wait for it, and then tap ok wait for it to power off and then press and hold on the power button and wait for it to finish turning on and then once it turns on and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then go inside your app drawer where you will see all your apps and then find the app that's called not code and once you made sure that you have a pattern lock screen and you're using the one that came with your Android device once you've set the pattern for it you can go ahead and go into this app actually and then once you get into this app tap where it says change not code and then enter whatever not code you want like I'll use that for example then tap next and then tap next again to confirm it and then you will get a notification at the bottom that code changed successfully and then now once you lock your screen you will get a lock screen that looks like this and then you can go ahead and lock unlock it with whatever, whatever knock code you used and from there guys that's it that's how to get the knock code feature of LG on any Android device now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this module whatsoever feel free to let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way and thank you guys for watching I hope you guys will like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram I left all those links in the video description below once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demise45, signing off.